Bobby Nightingale here with Wisconsin Timber Rattler starting pitcher Tyler Thornburg. You were a third round pick by the Milwaukee Brewers in the 2010 draft, but you went undrafted out of high school. When did you really feel that your pitching came together? Um, I'd say about my sophomore year in college. You know, I really uh, felt like if I worked hard enough, then I could uh, definitely get drafted and um, have a, make a career out of it. As a third round pick, do you feel any pressure in the minor leagues to succeed? A tad, you know, it's definitely not as much as, say, a first rounder, but um, yeah, a little bit more than, say, you know, the late round picks or guys that didn't get as much money. In college, you were a two way player in the outfield and on the mound. Do you miss hitting at all or playing in the oh, outfield? Yeah, yeah I beg uh, our coach every day to let me hit. And uh, every every chance I get, I try to take BP and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Do you feel that you could have uh, made it as a hitter as well? I like to think so, but probably not. <laughs> Uh, you've been on a tear this year, 7-0 and record with 76 strikeouts and just over 68 innings. What helps you just dominate at the single-A level so far? Oh, you know, I think, you know, hard work. Um, never could have gotten to this point without it. Um, and just trying to be competitive mentally, um, knowing that you're going to do as well as you uh, can every outing. And then also you've never lost a decision as a pro baseball player. What, just what makes you more successful than most of the pitchers that have been out there? You know, I really don't know. Um, I just know that every time I go out there, you know, I try to keep that loss away from me. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, we're only scoring, you know, one run a game, I got to hold them to none or, you know, try to keep them under one run a game. So, you know, just with that attitude and approach, you know, I do well. And then scouts have also said your curveball is a plus pitch that should be effective at any level. What makes your curveball so much better than everyone else's? I mean, it, you know, it could be, you know, that I've just been trying to work on it, you know, a lot and, uh, you know, I've been throwing it since I was 12, um, had a lot of experience with it, and, um, you know, just throwing it for strikes has been the biggest thing for me this year, and, um, you know, hope to improve on it every year. Are there any other uh, breaking ball pitches that you've been working on as you move up? Uh, you know, I've always wanted to try to develop another pitch, you know, whether it's like a split finger or a cutter or something, you know, but we'll have to see where it goes from here. And then last question, what are your dreams and goals as a professional baseball player? Oh, you know, obviously make it to the bigs. Um, have a long and a good career and uh, hope that things work out. All right, thanks for your time and good luck for the rest All of the right. year. Thank you.